If you don't mind me saying, everybody welcome, Bernard Kerr with Project Lincoln. Hello, Max. Who of you out there has ever had to make a nice looking chart or data visualization? Have you found the process painfully slow and frustrating? Would you like some superpowers to be able to do it at lightning speed? All right. I got to say, this is the first time I've heard a crowd cheer for data visualization. <laughs> All right. In the past, you've probably used one of three different approaches. You might have tried drawing something from scratch. You might have found a template that was close, but not quite exactly what you wanted. Or you went off and learned how to code. Or some combination of the three. So all of these approaches start with data that's sort of stuffed into a machine and spits out a visualization. But Project Lincoln flips this idea on its head and says, what if you could sketch first and then bind your drawing to data? So that means any of the visual properties of something you've drawn could be bound to data. So that could be its position, its size, its color, even text could be bound to data. And these data-driven drawing tools live on top of the drawing tools you already know and love. So let me show you how this works by trying to build you a poster from my friend Kim Chambers. If you may remember, Kim, the Sneak host for the last couple of years. She's not only for the Sneak host, she's also an extraordinary swimmer, and only seven, one of seven people on the planet to have swum the Ocean Seven, a set of grueling marathon swims all around the world. So I'm going to make a poster for her. And so what I'm going to do here in Lincoln, I'm going to bring in a simple spreadsheet. And uh, this is for the North Channel Swim. OK, so from the spreadsheet, we're going to grab these variable names from the top of the spreadsheet and put it into this palette. And this is what we're going to use to bind our drawing to data. So if I want to make a bar chart, I just make a bar the size and shape and color that I want. And then when I hit the repeat grid, I get a bar for each of those swimmers. Now, if I want to set the length of this bar, I can select the right-hand side and bind it to the time variable. And now all of these bar points are bound to time, and I can adjust them with this axis control. If I add some text, <laughs> so I just, I just added some text here. At this point, it's the same all the way down, but I can bind that to the swimmer's names. I could do the same for time. And I'm going to open up my symbol library here and I'm going to grab a swimmer. So I've got this swimmer sitting here, repeated the same way all the way down. But I've got this new concept, which I call a sticky anchor, which lets me set up a relationship between the anchor point of one object and the anchor point of another. So now they have this offset. So now I'm going to throw in a flag. Uh, obviously, not all of these swimmers are from New Zealand like me and Kim, so immediately bind that to the country variable. Let's fill that in. All right, so here's, here's Kim. And it, <laughs> she, she looks like she's wearing the wrong bathing suit, so let me bind that swimmer to the gender variable. So now we have actually three sw women swimmers who have done these crazy swims. And they, look, 17 hours in the water is a long time, right? OK, so now that I'm sort of happy with my design here, I can apply, apply all these bindings to each of the other swims. So now they automatically just get uh, regenerated based on the data. I can also throw these all on the same page at the same time. So I have small multiples, and I can control the spacing between them too. So you know, bar charts, maybe not your cup of tea. Maybe we'll try something a little more sophisticated. All right? So um, now I'm going to do a weather radial. Now, if you know what a weather radial is, it's actually a, a visualization of weather showing you the high and low temperatures for every day of the year for an entire year all in one go. So um, this would be really useful for Kim to know about uh, when she's planning these swims to know what time of the year to go for these crazy swims. So this time I'm going to bind the right-hand side of this bar to the high temperature for the day. The left-hand side is going to be bound to the low. 
And now when I hit the repeat grid, I have 365 of these bars in an arranged chart. And now I'm going to bind the color of this bar to the average temperature with this new color control. So these guys are running off the page, the 365. And now I'm going to throw them into a radial pattern. And there we have it. So of course, we can apply these bindings to all of the different cities that you would be swimming from to work out what, where we should go. So I don't have time to do a full poster here, but here is a, a sort of design that I worked on earlier. It's awesome. So I just built 14 data visualizations, simple and complex ones, with total creative control and freedom in less than four minutes. Wow. Cool, guys? Yeah.